Hey, Sisteritas. Welcome back to the Sisterita Club. I'm super excited that you all are here. I wanted to share with you a little Bible study um, technique or Bible journaling. I don't know what to really call it, but thought that you would enjoy learning a little bit about the different themes of the Bible and how you can add it to your Bible. So this is my Jesus Bible. I just love this Bible, and I'm actually going to link below the review on my Jesus Bible. But of course, this is not going to be a video on this Bible in particular. It's going to be on the Bible study technique that I wanted to show you. So I will go ahead though and link that about the Jesus Bible so you can know how special this one is. I really love this Bible. So let's get into it. Look at how cute this is. This is adorable. So this is a little bit of a Bible journaling or whatever you want to call it. Decorate your Bible, but it's going to teach you or to tell you all the different themes of the Bible. So I really love this and really wanted to share this with you, Sister Rita. So um, I have this separate between the Old Testament and then these are for the New Testament and of course you can pick a heart or smiley faces check stars whatever you want to use I of course did hearts I think that's really pretty and cheery and um, you can change all the colors but just wanted to share with you about this these are obviously color coordinated so in the Old Testament, we have the themes of law, history, poetry, and the prophets. So you can see that here for the law, we have Genesis through Deuteronomy. And I've got that color coordinated as the pink heart. And then from Joshua to Esther, we have green for history. And then poetry, of course, is really big between Job and Song of Songs. And, you know, poetry, it's so beautiful in the Bible. I love the Proverbs and the Psalms, and it's just beautiful. So um, I love the poetry books. And then we have prophets, which would be Isaiah all the way to Malachi. So they are foretelling um, all that is to be done within God's will for their people in the present or in the future, even what is to be fulfilled in our time. So... That is going to be for the Old Testament. And then for the New Testament, we have the gospel, the gospels, history, letters, and prophecy. So we have a purple heart for the gospels, which would be Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And then we have history for Acts and then also the letters. So that is what makes up most of the New Testament are the letters. And that's going to be from Romans all the way to Jude. And then we have prophecy, which is the book of Revelation. And that is chock full of prophecy for the end times. So I wanted to give you, Sister Rita's, this little snapshot so that you can take a screenshot and then you can capture this for yourself and use this in your Bible. It's really simple to do, really easy, it doesn't take much time, but it's really pretty and you'll just love doing this. And then also it's really helpful, I think, when trying to study your Bible and to know what each book is trying to tell you, of course, in your Bible, I'm sure that there's some commentary before you um, actually enter each book of the Bible, but this kind of helps you to get an eye view when you're turning in your page. So I wanted to share that with you, Sisteritas. If you are interested in the Sisterita Club, you aren't a subscriber, I really hope that you would consider subscribing. So all of the content in the Sisterita Club is hopefully something that will bring value to your life. Um, and we have a lot of videos on motherhood and faith-based videos, um, you know, grocery hauls, things like that. But definitely, you know, it, it's going to be really heavy on this channel in regards to faith-based videos because Jesus and our relationship with God brings obviously so much value into our life and it really is the foundation. And so if you like these kinds of videos, comment below and let me know. I would really love to hear from you and wanted to just share that with you, Sister Rita, as this little tip. So 
I really hope you'd consider being a subscriber and um, go ahead and subscribe. You'll become a sister Rita and then give this video a thumbs up if you like it and comment and let me know that you're new here. Thanks so much, sister Rita's. Talk to you soon. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.